Question 8. Uh, Lorna carries out a survey about the number of times customers go to a shop. She asks uh, at random 100 customers how many times they went to the shop last month. And then we have a table of her results. One of 100 customers is picked at random. What is the probability that the customer went to the shop five or more times? Well, how many people actually went to the shop five or more times? Well, we know 13 people went five times, 11 people went six times, and five people went more than six. That means that the total amount of people that went more, uh, that went five or more times, is found by doing 13 plus 11 plus 5, uh, and 13 plus 11, 24, 24 and 5, 29. So there's 29 people in total that fit this criteria. So we got 29 people in total. Uh, out of that criteria, there was 100 people asked. So if I'm going to choose one of them at random, it must be 29 out of 100. Part B. Last month, the shop had a total of 1,500 customers. We're asked to work out an estimate for the number of customers who went to the shop exactly two times. Okay, let's have a look. How many people... Um, how many people went two times? I can see there's 13 people that went two times. So the probability that we chose somebody from this category was 13 out of 100. And how many customers were there in total? There was 1,500 customers. So what we normally do here when we see that word estimate with a probability question at the beginning is we take a probability and we multiply by the number of times it happened or by the number of customers in this case 1500 now you can do this with a calculator I'm gonna save a wee bit of time I know 100 is gonna cancel into this and give me 15 now I need to do 13 times 15 so we get the calculator for that just to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes along the way so 13 whoops 13 times by 15 is 195 so 195 and we can pop our answer in over here okay we've got one more part to do with this uh, we're told that the owner of a different shop is carrying out a survey on the ages of his customers and he records the ages of the first 10 customers in his shop after 9 a.m. one morning it says this may not be a suitable sample give two reasons why fairly straightforward if you only ask 10 people it's just not big enough uh, a sample to be using so he needs a bigger sample he needs a bigger sample preferably more than 30 we don't need to have that part but we we normally try to get a sample of, of at least 30 and then the second reason well he's only asking people at 9 a.m. now there are lots of people who can't go to the shop at 9 a.m. because of various reasons and um, maybe most people are in work and um, so he he needs he needs to um, to ask at different times and that ladies and gents should get you the full two marks for that part